What's up everybody? My name is Mantha and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be blah, blah, blah. English. I'm going to be answering some questions. So let's get on with the video. Okay. So break. Okay. So my first question is why did you start a YouTube channel? So I started why? Oh, okay. I started a YouTube channel because I thought it'd be really fun, and, well, actually, the story is, I didn't start my YouTube channel, my dad did, and my first YouTube video was me reading a book when I was, like, in first grade, so, I don't know, seven? I think I was seven or eight. Um, that was really, really, really bad, because I just started, it was my first YouTube video, and my dad had made the YouTube vid uh, video, he recorded it, he posted it, he edited it, edited it, edited it, and then he posted it, and um, that was the start of my career, and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Anyways, so, yeah. My next question is, what is your favorite video you ever posted? Um, my favorite video that I've ever posted was probably... My fourth grade music video. Yeah, my fourth grade music video, only because um, while I was recording, I went to my school like really early in the morning. But at the time, there were kids on the playground because there's a segment where I'm at the playground. So my friend Julia, she came up behind me while my dad was recording and started playing with my hair. So it was like awkward, and I was like, hi, and she was like, why are you recording yourself? And I was like, it's for a music video, and she was like, oh, you're famous? And I was like, no. When I, um, my, I have a song on Musical.ly, what's up, we're at my Musical.ly shirt, um, and I posted it with my dad like a long, long time ago, like last summer, and everyone was like, oh, so you're famous now. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not famous. And they're like, but you have a song on Musical.ly, so you have to be famous. And I was like, I'm not famous. But people kept thinking I was famous because I had a song on Musical.ly, and then they thought because I was recording myself, I was famous. I have no idea why. And where do the questions go? Okay, <laughs> there we go. Question number three is who's the person who inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Um, oh, and if you don't think I'm actually, I'm faking, these are the questions right here. I had my friend give me some questions. Um, so I'm not faking. I did not, like, write them down on my notes or something. I literally have them on my messages. Um, who inspired me to start my YouTube channel? My dad. Because, one, he started it for me, which I really liked that. And two, he kept me on schedule for a while. Um, we did a variety of different videos. We did like, cooking, we did reading. Um, I think there was a dancing segment somewhere. I honestly, Oh, we did Around the World with Samantha. That was fun. I liked doing that. It was a fun time. And then, as I got older, I stopped for a really, really long time. And didn't get back into it, maybe until last summer or something. Um... And the reason I got back into it is because I knew I had the channel. I knew I had it, one, because I could see it. Two, because people were liking my videos. What? Anyways. Um. Ew, I don't know what that is. Ew, what is wrong with me? Um. And three, because I was able to comment and stuff, and I wasn't able to comment before. So. That... My dad really inspired me because he was like, you want to start a YouTube channel? And I was like, yeah, that sounds really cool. Because at the time, I didn't really know what YouTube was because I was young. Young. And I didn't really, I didn't have an iPad like I'm recording on now. I didn't have my phone. I didn't have my Kindle. I had my Kindle, but I didn't have YouTube. Um, so I wasn't really exposed to YouTube. I had my MacBook, my big MacBook downstairs, but I really never used it. So when, once I was really exposed to YouTube through making YouTube videos, I was like, my dad is my inspiration because he brought me into the YouTube world. So thanks, dad. My phone turned off. Oh, I also have my phone plugged in. <laughs> don't know how to, I don't know why I had to explain that, but if, this is my charger. So, yeah. So my fourth question is, what videos would people mostly see on your channel? Probably my most recent videos, so this video, and, and maybe... Oh, uh, by the way, Wondercraft is being uh, 
is being taken off, like it's shut down. Wondercraft is done. The reason is is because I were, was recording on this tiny little phone, and it was so hard to do this because I was doing it on the bus to school. My bus ride to school was 20 minutes long, so I literally was doing it on the bus. It was noisy, and I couldn't do it. And then sometimes I did it at home, and there's a lot of things at home, so I didn't do it. But what I want to do is I want to start a Sims uh, gaming channel. Gaming channel? Channel. Uh, Sims uh, series, but it's kind of hard because it's on my TV, not my computer. And if I get the cats and dogs for my computer, that's when I will do my Sims because it's the cats, and, cats and dogs, and who doesn't love cats and dogs? So... Yeah, and I also want to do, if I was going to do a Minecraft series, I would have to do it through my MacBook because I can, there's a, I have an app on my MacBook, not my actual MacBook, because my MacBook's right here, and that's not a MacBook, it's a Dell, it's a Dell Chromebook, but my big MacBook downstairs, I can record from that. So, probably my most, my most recent videos and my most liked videos, so maybe like, my first... I don't want to break your heart. That has like 3.3k views, which to me is mind boggling. Like, literally, when I saw it for the first time, I was like, Hunty, back up. I was so amazed. Like, I literally wanted to cry. It was like, it's my most liked video, viewed, liked, most viewed video, and I'm really excited for that. Um, I actually have some new songs coming up. So, yeah. Um, okay, last question before we do the big one. Which I'm excited for that. Who is your idol on YouTube? Girl, I got a list. I got a long freaking list. Let's start. Okay. First, 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 first. My queen and my idol from the top of the list to the end of the world is Shane freaking Dawson because he's literally the queen of YouTube. Legitimately. He is funny. He's smart. Smart. That's not rude, but you know what I mean. Talented. He is literally the most funny person. I will be up at night watching his videos and I will just burst into laughter and my mom will be like, what in the world is wrong with you? And I'm like, Shane Dawson. She's like, oh, yeah. So, all my friends love Shane Dawson. I love Shane Dawson probably the most out of anybody in the freaking world, to be honest. I binge watch his videos. I literally binge watch. He has a playlist with 132 videos. Binge watched for like a month and a half. 132 videos of his. And I was like, focus. Focused AF on that video. Um, Number two... Probably it's just next because he's also really really funny um Gay pride um <laughs> Gay pride um he's hilarious like literally Second one up for queen. I'm not joking. Um He is literally um, I actually just started watching him. I didn't just start to watch him uh My neighbor is looking at his window. I think that means it's really creepy, but I will Anyways, okay, he left. Um, he is second runner up for my idol because he will make me laugh no matter what. His commentary is literally the best. And then, I don't know how, how many times I have to say this, but another queen, my girl, Joy Graceffa, my girl, my girl, legitimately. Um, he is, he makes me want to be a better person. He is so inspirational, and he has he is so powerful. I don't want to say that in a bad way. He's a powerful person in the sense that he makes people want to do things they couldn't believe they could do before. He is an inspirational person, and I would suggest you watch him if you don't, which if you don't, like, literally stop this video. Go like it, by the way. <laughs> Suck promo. <laughs> Ew, I'm so... No, ew. Stop. Like, go subscribe to his channel and watch all of his videos. Like, binge watch, get your popcorn, get your pop, get your candy, get your ice cream child, and sit there on your bed and watch Joy Graceffa, because he's, like, the best. And I don't know why I'm clapping. Um, again, I have a long list, but I'm only going to do, like, two more, because I don't want this video to be, like, a thousand minutes long. And I also have to do, uh, what's well, in my backpack, or my, my backpack's right over here. Whoop. Um... 
So, my, okay, these are, okay, I'm gonna do one more. One more, and then I'm done. I promise. So, he, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. I'm sure he does. Wait, let me see if I can find him, and I'll show you. He's a musically king, lit a king. Let me see if I can find him. Oh, also, shameless self promo. Go follow me on Musically. Ha at Heartbeat. Woo. Um, his name is Peyton Sotile, and he is a queen. He's a king and a queen. Like, he's both. Peyton. My life right here. He is literally everything. And he's so sassy. Hold on, let me see if I can find the one that made me laugh so hard. I was on the phone with my friend Emily yesterday, and I was on Musical.ly, and it literally, literally made me die. Oh, one of that one. Jesus Christ. <gasps> he is so sassy, and I freaking love it. Like, honestly. Okay, so now that we're done with that, um, we're going to move on to the what's in my backpack. Because I got a new backpack yesterday, so I want to show it off. So, this is my backpack, and that was really sassy. This is my lovely backpack. It's like, um, I don't really know what color this is. It looks kind of purple on camera, but I promise you it's not. It's more like a grayish, like a really light gray. And then it has this, which I love right here. So... Let's get started. So, first thing I have in my backpack is this. It's not a makeup kit, I promise, because I don't usually... I have a makeup palette, but not a backpack. This has my essentials. So, I have my headphones, because my bus is noisy AF. Um, I have a pencil and some notepads, if I need to write down some quick notes. Um, I have two chains... Two chains? Two chains. Two changes of jewelry. I have a necklace... Which I got from Florida and SeaWorld that I absolutely love. And then I got my bracelet here. So I have those. I have this Bath & Body Works uh, hand sanitizer. It's their kindness like confetti. This is actually a quote in my friend's science class. I have a couple of cough drops because, you know, it's cold outside. So I have some of these. And then I have a couple of hair ties because my hair is a mess throughout the day, especially when, when I come out from gym. So I really need, like, that. And then I also have my brush, my mini brush, just like it's really nice. And also my hair is really soft so it doesn't, like, damage my hair. So now that I took everything out, I'm going to put everything back in. Woo! I'm really afraid now because I really don't want to get copyright uh, from showing Peyton's video. So that was that. Then we have my Minecraft book because I'm actually, I don't really play Minecraft as much as I used to, but I'm actually really, really, I love creative mode Minecraft. And this book was um, $12. And it has planning, decoration, building, and it's really, really nice. And it shows you, like, the biomes, and it shows you aesthetic themes. And it shows you block hacks. And it has a lot of pictures. And it's really nice structures. And then there's like pages where like it's just simply like the chapter and then uh, what it is. Like the decoration. So you can get utility blocks. And it's honestly aesthetic decor. And some of these buildings are really, really nice. Like it's really nice, honestly. Like I'm kind of jealous. And there's like ocean observatory, which I actually don't know what that means. And then this is amazing. Final worlds. Final words. Oh my god, worlds. And it's just like it's really nice. It's by Mojang. Like literally, he made the book. Like their team made the book. And I like that. Then I have my art supply case. Um this says everyone's asking me what uh, 19 times 4 equals 19 times 4 equals 12 15 22 5 which I'm not telling anybody what that means um I just have like my chapstick this should go on my other one I'll put that in later and then I have my color pencils 
and I have a mini tape dispenser that everyone's freaking out over because it's so cute. And then this is my light, my LED light, which you can't see because it's super bright, but it's my LED light. I got an LED light, which you can't see because it's bright, but I got this LED light. Woo! It's really bad, I know. Oh, 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 and I have a hole puncher, a mini hole puncher. It's adorable. So that's that. I would have my sketchbook in here, but my sketchbook's at school. Um, then I have my water bottle because I'm a thirsty person. Oh, and then I have another uh, LED. Oh no! Are they on? Can you see that? Oh, I think they're out of batteries. I got these over break. Okay, this one works. You can't see that at all, but they're glowing. I swear. See? Glowing. And then the last thing is because, um, I have my umbrella because if it rains, I don't want to get my precious hair wet because my hair will literally, like, not glow up in flames. I was about to say it was going to engulf in flames. It's not. It's going to literally just get all puffy and I don't have, like, a curling iron or, like, a straightening iron in my school because my school isn't fancy, but literally. So now that I took an that I've taken everything out of my bag and I have to put everything back in. <laughs> Thanks video. Um, that's going to conclude today's video. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm gonna leave you off one more question. One more question. My friend Gracie asked this question. So thank you to Gracie. Let me go back to my okay. So my friend Gracie asked, what is the most embarrassing moment ever? Probably, mmm, okay, it's not really embarrassing because everyone enjoyed it, but I thought it was embarrassing because I fell. So, it was in, I think, the fourth or fifth grade, it was fourth grade, and, um, wait, no, was it fifth grade? I think it was fifth grade, yeah, fifth or fourth grade, we'll say fifth. I was in the cafeteria, and I had leggings on, so I didn't get leggings on, so I didn't get her anything. But I literally, like, you know how rock stars, they will, like, they'll slide with their guitar, but they're on their knees. I don't have, I don't have enough space to show you. But they're like this, and they have, like, their guitar and stuff. Well, basically, I tripped over my own feet and slid, and everyone started clapping, and I was like, oh, my God. Because at, at that point, I had a crush, and they were looking, and I was like, frick. I thought I was the number one, but it was actually really, really funny. Everyone clapped, and everyone was laughing. It was hilarious. But I was super embarrassed because, um, one, I fell. Two, I had a tray in my hand. No, I had my lunchbox in my hand, and my things like, came flying out. I had, like, a sandwich, and I had chips, and, like, my pretzels came out, and I was just like, no, why? But it was really funny, but... That's probably my most embarrassing moment that I can think of because I have a horrible memory span. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next time. Anyways, bippity boppity boop. Bye. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs>